Hollywood Studios where the ESPN weekend is taking place at. We're going to have a chance to interview some football players. Now let's look at our interviews. I'm with D'Angelo Williams. How did, how did you feel when you got drafted to the Carolina Panthers? Oh, I was overjoyed, man. Uh, just thinking about all the hard work that, that I put in and, and all my family members put in and friends have put in because my mom always told me to take a village to raise a kid and everybody in my neighborhood to help raise me, you know, they had opportunity to be there. All my family and friends, we all celebrated it together. So it was a great feeling, man. Uh, like I said, all the hard work that was put in and, and getting the opportunity to actually perform on the largest, I mean the world's largest stage was awesome. How did you become an NFL player? Well, uh, a lot of hard work and perseverance, man. Not only that, listening to my elders, uh, listening to my parents, make sure I did everything that they did. Uh, because uh, a lot of kids these days, they feel like their parents didn't go through what they're going through because it's a new time. But if you, if you take a look at history, everything repeats itself. So they actually went through uh, the things that you said that they didn't go through. So uh, listening to them and staying the course and, you know, it's student athlete. So you got to make sure you get your grades first because no grades mean no football or no, no sports. So getting that combination and, and putting it all into the pot and mixing it together created something special. What's up with the hat and the shirt? Well, uh, last year I wore a big, uh, like, rock star Mickey hat. And uh, I'm in the hats when I come to Disney World. And today I walked from uh, Africa to Asia. And uh, when I was in Asia, I saw the hat and the shirt. And I was like, I got to get that, man. That's hot. So I, that's what's up with the hat and the shirt, you know, just enjoying the festivities. And uh, this is my theme today. I'm Asian. <laughs> Can you give some advice to the students at my school? Yes, uh, work hard, pay attention, and um, you know, listen to your parents because uh, they've already done what you're going, what you're doing, and what you're going through. And your parents know you better than anybody. So if you listen to them, they won't steer you wrong, and they'll steer you in the right direction. And keep your head up and keep your grades up, and you too can be where I'm standing right now. Thank you. All right. I'm with Brandon Jacobs. They say you're hard to tackle. Why are you hard to tackle? Well, because a, the, a normal running back uh, <coughs> is supposed to be probably the size of those guys over there, the, the, the smaller guys. I'm a big guy to be, you know, to, 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 for guys to bring down. A lot of guys that's trying to make the tackle are also guys their size. So um, I weigh at least 50 pounds, you know, more than the average football player. And, uh, and that's who's got to make the tackle. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty tough thing for him to try to do. Thanks. Look, Damian Thomas is talking to the Jews. I had a chance to talk with him. Did you feel bad that you had never won a Super Bowl ring? Um, I don't feel bad. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, sometimes when you, you, when you play in a game and it's a team game, you know, sometimes you just don't win it. You know, there's a lot of teams and only one winner. And so I don't feel bad. It makes, it, it helps me uh, and motivates me to, to do it again next year, to try for it next year. You know, as the songs say, if you don't succeed the first time, get up and try it again, right? Yes. So that's the way it is. Yes. All right. We had a splendid time at the ESPN weekend. Now let's go get on some rides.